right guys, I'm back here again today on top of the roof. My job today is to remove this sheet here and this flashing and then set this barge board up, board up without this power box falling off the roof. Because if this falls off the roof, I don't know how the hell I'm going to get it back on. So I've put this timber in here, that runs all the way down there to the other beam because they've only got one beam supporting this roof as you can see spread out more than 900 but I'm guessing in the old days he gave a shit so now hopefully that's going to hold the weight and I'll get this beam here to dislodge. <laughs> Don't you tell me to me, I just sat down for the first time. Alison's sitting down making sure I don't f this up. <laughs> yeah, you're making me nervous. I'm getting commentary from down here. Up the end there where that barge meets that peak Is this one still lower than the other one? So this one has to come up
Yeah. Alright, so I've got timber up there now. Holding the top. Got timber there holding the middle. Got this one here holding this end sort of and I'm gonna put another one in there in a minute. Alongside of those nails running up, up along here. I'm here in the toilet today. I'm going to put the timber up along here. I put this piece up the other day when I was here. I did a test fit because I didn't think it was going to work. I thought, you know, you put it on there and then you'd just be able to pull it down with your hand, but it's actually on there pretty strong. So He's going to watch me do the rest now. Piece here, and then I'll think I'll put a piece coming around here and a piece around here just so it doesn't look all shitty. Because if I show you what it looks like here, you think, Oh my, what have you done here, Robbie? But yes, we have just put layer upon layer upon layer of timber, but hey. It's in there because nothing a nail gun won't support will do. So I'll put a piece of timber going across here, around here, to the other side. And hopefully it's going to sit on there, but I doubt it. I think I'm going to miss it. But nothing, no more gaps won't like fix. to fill this shit up with putty, fill these holes up with putty, seam seal here and along the back. Now I've got to put timber in along there, down there, and down there. Back up here again today guys. Another day of chipping this wall off. I really want to get the top of this finished as soon as I can so we can rebuild this veranda. So I'm going to get stuck in again for another day. At least the sun's shining. It's 
actually pretty cold today because we've got a cold wind, but I'll get stuck in. I remembered to bring the blower back up, so this makes life easier. While I'm waiting for Albie to mix me up some water, I'm going to slowly chip off this bit of concrete on this. So that's the side that was facing out with all the paint. And we learned a lesson because we tried to get the paint off last time, we ended up breaking the tile. So what I'm going to do is just flip it over and put it back in with the clean side this time. But I will try and get as much as I can out of these little holes so that the vents are actually functioning. Just got to be super careful because they've got concrete in them and I don't want to crack this tile. Well, this is what Alison's done so far today. All that wet area that you can see. Tomorrow morning I'll get up here and I'll rip some more sheets off so she can keep going. Do you like what you've done so far, baby? Yeah, it needs sponging, but it's a bit wet to sponge today, so first thing in the morning I'll sponge it off so it's nice and smooth. Are we going to fill that gap in above the vent today yeah. or not? Yeah, that's really wet, so I think I'll just let that set because every time I touch above there, it's just moving it. So I'm just going to leave that gap for the night and then fill it tomorrow morning once it sets up a bit. Right. Then good job. Pretty good, I think. Yeah. Considering what it looked like this morning. 
We should be able to take this beam off to where the join is, which is uh, probably those four sheets. Whatever sheets take us to that join of the timber so we can get the timber off at the same time. I think it's, I mean, take four, but yeah, we can then unbolt this bit of timber. Yeah. And that'll get me to over near the front door. Yeah. Don't know how I'm going to do where that other sheet is, though. What other sheet? <sighs> where? The wires go through. Yeah. You just have to do from a side at a time. Yep. And just get as close as I can to it. It's more of the problem is how am I going to get the other sheet off of that one in my way? Yeah. Hmm. That's a you problem. Yep, thanks. Am I a quarter of the way? Yeah, we took four sheets off. So I'm going to call it a quarter. Yeah. No, nearly a quarter. Oh. Fine, nearly a quarter. Hopefully get further tomorrow. I suppose because your bricks and Yeah. Hopefully I can get at least to the door tomorrow. This stuff shouldn't take much to come off because it's just sitting there. I think it's even attached. It's the stuff that's under it that's frustrating. I think that's it for the night calling it quits. We'll catch us again in the morning to do more of the same. There you go. All right, I'm done. Getting down for the night. I'll pick it up again tomorrow. This is why they're all so naughty, isn't it, LJ? Yeah. Where's my good dog? There she is. You're the good dog, aren't you? Yeah. Those little rats are naughty, aren't they? Yes. You the good dog, LJ? Yeah. LJ, you the good dog? Yes, you are, aren't you? There's the brats that got told to stay. Here they come, the ones that can't do what they're told. Yep, there they are. There's the other spoilt brat, Missy. Where's the other spoilt one, LJ? Comes the other one that can't do what it's told, LJ. Yeah. Max, were you told to stay? Max, I'm talking to you. Max, we were having a conversation. Go get him, LJ. Time mum wants him. LJ, come in to mum. Come in to mum. Come here. Oh, you're a good girl. Max. Max. Do you ever listen? Come here. Max. Max. You like Howard Norse in my cardigan on? And who's Howard Norse? Gilbert Valley Hotel, owned it for about 40 years, top bloke. Gilbert Valley Hotel is at Saddleworth, by the way. He doesn't own them anymore. Alright guys, we appreciate everybody watching. Everybody have a good night, and we'll see you next week. Come on, guys.